Good morning, this side Shruti, your PT coach. I welcome you all at PT Tutorials Horses Group. Today we all will practice writing mini mock of PTEA exam. I hope you all are ready. I will try to give your uh, answers of your queries in the end of the webinar. And uh, one uh, small request. Because of the time constraint, I have uh, given uh, you the time to write the summarized written text and essay. That is only six minutes. I have taken some small uh, summarized written text so that you can cover the material uh, writing portion in six minutes. And uh, for essay, we will just plan out the idea each and every paragraph that what you will be introduction for body paragraph two and your conclusion and then those six generate the ideas and uh, you have to each of the paragraph I you all are ready and one small request could you send me a message uh, on the uh, question box am I audible are you able to see this okay thank you so much Abhilash Today's practice, today's money mock. Summarize written text is your very first task of your writing module. The moment you are done with your answer short questions, immediately when you press next, there will be no intimation that now you will be having written writing module. Immediately you see this particular uh, paragraph on the screen without the heading of summarized written text huh read the passage below and summarize it using one sentence remember one thing you have to write only and only one sentence you're not supposed to make multiple sentences multiple periods you are not supposed to put type your response in the box at the bottom of the screen this will be written after the text you will be given one text box there you have to type the number of words you'll be typing automatically the software will count it and will show you that how many words you have written you have six minutes to finish this task right now i have given you six minutes because i have taken all real exam summarized written text and i have chosen only those ones which you can cover in six minutes your response will be judged on the quality of your writing and on, on how well your response presents the key points in the passage. Remember one thing, this is very important task to get 79 plus in reading module. Yes, writing module, we almost from our childhood, we people are writing, but we are not so good in reading. That's why sometimes we get all the modules clean bold 79 plus but reading is not 79 plus though your written discourse is also good it means that somehow we are not able to make the summaries better or the best one in this writing module so be careful add maximum to maximum keywords provided those keywords from the text that you will be taking those should be the important one and the required one don't add extra information don't add n number of examples in your summary one small tip before you start writing focus on the word summary assume that whatever you are going to write after you are you are written then just read it do the brief proofreading for the sake of checking the grammar and uh, your spellings but do the proofreading in such a way that are you getting the meaning from that particular paragraph is it having one uh, title after that the explanation of that title or whatever you will be including that is having coherence between the sentences or not does it look like a story or not if the complete picture is there then definitely no one can fetch you back to score 79 plus so be careful about this let's start here is the paragraph and your time starts now bar will be going on on the screen huh?
This is the real People have joined us late, aware that uh, we are here to write. Kindly see the paragraph and your summary.
Be quick. Stuck because I pressed on the path in between. It got stuck. Giving you. Let's check. Uh, you can tell your answers with the sample response. I'm going to show you now. <clears throat> this is the sample response. When Columbus arrived at Hispaniola, it was occupied by Tenos, and his Spaniards began to divide up the island and put the Indians to work as virtual slaves since they themselves do not want to go for mining of gold and Indian population died out within a few decades due to diseases which forced them to look elsewhere for slave laborers. Now see the coherence? A proper story is there. Just tell me your answer is the same kind of uh, meaning is taken out from your summary? 
and if it is so then uh, give content score two form score one and your uh, vocabulary score two and your grammar score two 61 words are there if you need this particular sample in the till evening this uh, be uploaded this recording will be uploaded on YouTube you can get the answer of this right um, someone is asking the year mentioned in the summary are not summarized it doesn't matter I said you need those keywords for which you think that they are required and important maybe I'll skip many of the things but I cannot write uh, those things particularly which I don't need in my summary clear and for one good summary you can write uh, 50 60 words as this one was having uh, so much content and you have to cover each and everything always remember one thing story must be there clear next question get ready if that story is missed out now it means it is not good next question here is your time.
Time is up. So let's check the sample answer. Sample answer is, there is a co-evolutionary relationship between cow and grass. As cows are not single stomached creatures, so are able to digest high quality protein because they have one most highly evolved digestive organ named as rimen, which helps such animals to spread seed by their hooves and also provides manure to it. It has 50 words. Check your answer. And are you getting the same kind of story? Then give you the score. I knew this thing that someone will be writing regarding uh, those lines of uh, words, 45 gallon tank. See, that is not in the picture. Why would I have to add those particular words in my summary? Reason? It's about that. Um, let's go back. About the size of a medicine ball, the organ is essentially a 45. They're talking about rumen and its shape, etc. I don't have to include these kind of things in my summary. Because when I'll be writing my summary, then it will not present the coherence between my previous words. I just have to define the relationship between cow and grass and how it actually works and why that relationship is so evolutionary. See the co-evolutionary relationship. I have to present that thing. I don't have to write these things. That is why previously I said important and required keywords in my I need in my summary. Work on it. That's why sometimes we write more and more words. Again, not getting the score for reading. Important required. These two words are very important. Focus on it, write it. Now the last summary. You can read it again. Here is the next summary. Get ready.
I hope you people are done with the answer. Let's check the summary, sample answer. As per archaeological data, house mice are biomarkers and are used as a proxy for human settlement. And due to their nature of stowing away around humans, research conducted by Cyril at the University of York had revealed that Australian mice had come in the had come in the British Isles through shipping and were able to colonize every continent. It has 56 words, match your summary with this one. And if the same kind of meaning is coming out, give you the best score out of seven. One small tip. No, it's not a tip basically. Um, are you aware of it in summary's written text? There are no spellings for, there are no scores for spellings. Yes, if you commit any spelling error, no doubt your content may be less by 0 0.1, 0 0.2, but there is no spelling score. Reason, Pearson says, as you have to copy the data from the given text, why would we give you the extra score for writing the words correctly? So, if you do any kind of spelling error here, that's fine. But please work on your grammar. Grammar is really very important in this question. If you don't work on it, you will not be able to make one frame, one compound or complex sentence. Because actually in this task, you have to do that thing only. Writing one 50, 60 words sentence is uh, in itself, it's a big thing. So work on your grammar. Work on your coherence, clear? Um, for this thing, uh, you can also watch one of the previous webinars, how to work on coherence. Next, I have now essay, get ready. Uh, I'm not giving you the full time, just like we people get an essay. In your real exam, you will get 20 minutes to plan, write, and revise an essay. But here, because of the time constraint, I cannot give so have made the bar for six minutes and uh, you have to uh, just generate the ideas, write the ideas for each and every paragraph that you are going to write. And after that, I'll discuss the sample with you people that in which particular paragraph, what you want to write and what you actually have to write. Here is the essay. The essay that I have taken here today is Daily one person gets this essay. If there are four batches in one day, uh, they are giving their exam in four batches, people. So out of those people, 50, 60 people, definitely one person will get this essay. And the name of the essay is more and more balanced life and work is asking you to think about the understanding of balancing life and work. What makes it difficult to balance? Your time starts now. Just generate the ideas and generate them in such a way that in which paragraph what you are going to write. Here is your time starts. It's not working. Okay, giving you full fledged time for six minutes.
your time is up i hope you people have generated your ideas someone has written the, the essay good who's there I'll give the answer to your queries uh, just after discussing about uh, the essay. So let's check it. I have started my uh, introduction with the line. Striking the perfect balance in career and family is significant to live a quality life, which has always been a challenge for common people. Means right here, the relationship between maintaining the balance how actually it goes after that nowadays people are getting much busier in their routines and so it has become difficult to run work and personal life smoothly here you have to write if it would not be done what will be the consequences on so that one coherence will be there and with those consequences you have to start to read your body paragraph one a person has to juggle with many different roles at workplace now see as i have two things my career and my family so let's discuss about career your workplace your work responsibilities and body paragraph one that's why i have taken here right about role of workplace with some good explanative discussion yes explanation is required here so let's check it a person has to juggle with many different roles at workplace which require him to pay attention on various tasks assigned by employers so to fast foster a culture of balance employee needs to maintain the structural consistency in the given work when employee feels a greater sense of control over his workplace life then there will be a better relationship with management if one person will um, does his or her duties with the whatever the company needs from him and he is working and walking on the same things definitely relationship between the management and the person and the uh, workers it would be smooth a balanced worker what will happen if this relationship will go better a balanced worker tends to feel more motivated and less stressed out at work definitely we enjoy our work out at work which thereby increases company productivity and reduces the number of conflicts among co-workers and management many of you even every one of us these days is working and we all know if this goes in a good way definitely results will be pro, uh, product will be very good in the next paragraph sitting healthy now i'm done with my career part my workplace part now i write here the other side if more importance will be given throughout to work I'm working 24 by 7, but no importance, giving no importance to my family. Then what will be its impact? Who would suffer then basically? And if the, uh, this thing goes, then what will be the consequences of that? You have to write each and everything. Let's check it. Setting healthy boundaries is not only essential at workplace. Rather, it brings a tune to the working patterns at home, too. According to studies by the National Institute of Occupational Health, as I said, explanation. That's why I have taken here the name of one uh, health institute by the National Institute of Occupational Health. Imbalance between any of the aspects of life leads to stress. Definitely, if out of these two, your workplace or your family, your home, any place is uh, you are suffering stress, nothing would go straight. So 
one should try to avoid intruding into work life by checking emergency emails or answering work related phone calls at home basic basically otherwise stress and restlessness may not only hinder the objectives of life but also will put impact on one's health now i have given the consequences too that if it goes then what will happen then give conclusion by maintaining the balance between the two yes we have to maintain the balance balance is that particular word if in any of the situations we are not maintaining it we are in danger zone on either side sadly there is no perfect which may go with one size fits all one size fits all it's an idiom i have used this idiom as a sentence all as the paradox for maintaining the right balance will probably be different in future to manage this tumultuous seesaw seesaw and the individual should use the best approaches to keep the pace in work and personal life i have written here some good words to get the good score for vocabulary content coherence is there definitely my uh, dcs development coherence and structure i would get good score you are not repeating the words again and again vocabulary score would increase side by side your glr general linguistic range now check the words i have taken what is the meaning of glr general linguistic range means how well you have uh, taken the words from english language how many words you have taken the more words you will write more word doesn't mean that you have to write 300 words 290 words it means whatever you are writing one variety is there clear write your essay in this way definitely written discourse will be 90 out of 90 then work on this now coming to your queries yes of course we will share the recording on youtube someone is asking couple of questions on summarized written text should we not include personal noun and in swt we should include if the paragraph is all about last you know, just like uh, it was about columbus definitely columbus is a personal noun i have to add because the whole picture is about that person then definitely we will add should we use the same words in the paragraph of course but try to paraphrase them if you are not doing that paraphrasing if the sentence was written in active form write them in uh, um passive form so that meaning will be the same one but you are uh, provided you are taking the keywords from your text otherwise your reading score would suffer sometimes what happens we are aware of the meaning of what was there in the paragraph so we start writing the summary in our own words remember this thing in your own words writing uh, your summary will give you written discourse 90 but will not give you uh, best score in your reading because for reading software needs the keywords from the given paragraph if i'm replacing those keywords then it is the weird thing that i'm doing for my reading module don't do that can we use the first sentence in for and last or should that be in the same flow no it is not at all necessary that you have to write with the same flow if one line or some keywords you are you have taken from the first paragraph you have to keep them in the starting of your summary written text no nothing like that you can frame the sentences and sentence in your own way provided you are whatever you are making the complex or compound sentence it should be meaningful and without any grammatical error that is the most important thing it doesn't matter where particular your chosen keywords you are fitting them in the starting or in the last 
coherence should not be missed out. That is the utmost important thing. Then I have uh, Anant is asking, can we also talk about people's obsession and corporate ladder? Um, but don't go out of the topic. Otherwise, your uh, content will not be matching because we have to maintain um, my writing just between the office, workplace and your uh, family. Ka Someone is asking, Kai, should we use the date of mention in paragraph? It, uh, if it is important, write it, but try to avoid it because this is a summary. Just uh, imagine if um, I read one novel on the preface of the uh, that book, it, uh, it will be written like, my name is Shruti, I born on this, this, and uh, um, my qualification, blah, blah, things. No doubt these are important things these are the keywords, but these are not those keywords that I need, that are required, that are important. Because these things are, have nothing to do with the novel's uh, background, novel's story, its theme. Clear? At that time, you have to skip it. No doubt, we all are aware of this thing, that keywords are those things which are basically the nouns, adjectives, adverbs, and form of verbs, important ones. But remember, if that particular date of birth of someone, name of some person is not in the context with the theme of that par paragraph, then I should not take those words. I cannot. It will just uh, cover your word count, but it will not give the exact picture which should be written in the summary. Anurag is asking, in summarized written text, if no marks for spelling, then how vocabulary gets counted? Vocabulary? See, there is no uh, relation between spelling and vocabulary. Software will check. How many good words you have used? I said important required keywords. While we are framing one sentence, we need form of verbs. And only this particular thing is there that we can replace with its synonyms. If you will be using even a form of verbs also from the text, rather you can replace them. I cannot replace the name of a person because I cannot do that. But I can replace that form of verb by some synonym. And in this way, I will get my vocabulary score too. Uh, next question is Jalpa. Can we initiate SWD such as the passages about don't write your summary in this way? Summary means if you are the reader, you are a manual checker, write it, uh, you are reading it, then um, in such a way that you should have the correct sense of the given text. Definitely it should not uh, be having these kind of words, the passages about. It's not like the lecture is about. At that time, it is the different thing. But here, it's a different thing. On the play, at the place of these three, four words, I can reuse my keywords. Why to write this passage is about or was about? No. Recording will be uploaded on YouTube um, on till evening it will be done. Someone is asking, can I use the same words in summary text? Uh, do I need to mention come examples too? See, sometimes what happens, there is one title. After that, they have given the explanation of the title by taking one example. If the paragraph is all about uh, one example, then definitely you have to consider that example. But when they're talking about n number of colors, say red, green, blue, yellow, so many commas are there. You can write one word at the place of those couple of num uh, colors, multiple colors. Why to write examples? Because in summary, we don't include examples. 
Puneet is asking, um, this was the question of Puneet itself. Someone is asking, I wanted to know about SST. You can watch the webinar on SST. Or you can uh, ask your query in PT Tutorials Telegram group. Because right now I have to consider my um, writing module queries. Hi, ma'am. Opinion essay. Both my BP1, BP2 should contain points supporting my opinion. It depends. For this, I would suggest you to watch the webinar on how to write a perfect PTE essay on PT tutorials. It's a superb webinar. Just go and watch it on. So if you haven't subscribed PT Tutorials YouTube to the channel, kindly subscribe it. You will get all the webinars and uh, you don't even have to pay for this thing. It's just free. Then I have a question, summary part. Do we lose points for misspelling? Not in summary, but in essay, yes. Juyong is asking for SWT, is it possible to copy and paste? No, it's not possible. If you are thinking that, here is your paragraph text, you can select it. Even you will not be able to select it. You cannot copy it. Whatever the copy paste uh, button or cut copy paste buttons given on the screen, you can use them in between your writing box where you are writing. Those three buttons are given just for when you are writing. There you can use cut, copy, paste, but you cannot copy even a single word from the given text. You have to type it basically. Someone is asking, Sangeetha, can we just add keywords with commas? No, 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 don't do that. Even for summarized spoken text, you have to see now, it's a summary. You cannot do these things. Sangeetha, kindly watch uh, Malcolm Sir's um, webinar on summarized spoken text. You will get the idea of this. How much partial? Kai uh, Marx has given, carried out in reading by this summarized. Very good question. Kai is asking, how much marks I will be getting for uh, reading module? Just tell me, am I aware or will you people be aware of this thing? How many words will be there in one text? We are not aware and no one can. That's why for some of the tasks, integrated tasks, Pearson hasn't revealed the scoring of the back side uh, module, just like in Summarized written text. The part is there in writing, but still you are getting reading score. That's why they haven't revealed how much score you will be getting for reading. Because no one is aware how many words you'll be getting in one paragraph. And after that, how many words you will be able to write in your summary. I never check my word count while I'm writing my summary. I check my word count when I'm done with my summary. If it, in, uh, it has increased from uh, 50, 60, let's suppose, for one or two words, I can compromise. But I will not write 65, 70 words in my summary. Because the more I'll be writing, chances will be there I'm committing the errors. As prior, I'm not aware that how many words I'll be writing for one summary. No one can give you the assurity that you will get these particular score in your uh, reading from one summarized written text. That's why work on important required keywords, making the summary, coherence, story, everything should be there. Concise, compact. Should I include the essay? Shekhar is asking, speak about this. Is it mandatory? Um, the essay will argue or speak about. 
see if you are in 79 you have the same 79 plus kindly don't use template it will decrease your content score harsh sir i have repeated this thing that um, you will get the recording till evening no sran you cannot use the keywords in the summary as it is huh Neeraj, is it uh, necessary to give space after each paragraph? Yes, it's necessary. Otherwise, it will look like one paragraph, not a couple of paragraphs. And better if you press double enter. Reason? Let me show you. Suppose this is my one paragraph and this line is ending here. Okay? After that, when from my side, I have pressed the enter and it will be here. Here, even in this uh, slide, I have pressed double enter. Huh? That's why you are able to see the difference that I have made two paragraphs. If my one paragraph ends here, definitely when I press enter, it will start from here. Then there will be no significant difference between two paragraphs. They will look like the one paragraph that's why better press double enter mishra is asking using comma is a good practice in some rest written text but uh, remember one thing sir don't write uh, put commas more than three otherwise it will not look like a good summary you can use uh, an asset template uh, but take some of the words from the template. Don't write exactly because sometimes templates are having 188, 87 words and you are just filling some of the words from your side. And out of those words which you are filling for yourself, from yourself, those words are having very less content, very less words related to the prompt. Then definitely content score would go down. When I was asking, in limited time, it's difficult to come up with ideas and to frame good sentence. For that, you have to do the brainstorming. Um, Vanessa, you know, 95% essays you get in Pearson exam repeated ones. And people are getting their uh, most of the questions from PT tutorials March prediction file. In that file, PTE tutorials has added all the repeated stuff, all the repeated essays. Practice those essays before you sit in the exam. And you can get the samples of those essays in PTE tutorials app. Aparna. How standard is mock test? Mock test, Aparna, it will tell you um, at this point where you actually stand it is just like pre boards so you should give it someone is asking i understand the official test will be done on a computer can we see the questions takes while writing the answer yes of course you can see them how many words should be there in summary higher not less than um, don't cross more than uh, 58, 59, but do write more than 45. Kaji, your question it was, um, someone is asking any minimum or maximum limits. Said, can I use some template? And I say, Harish sir, if you are aiming for 79 plus, don't use a temp, uh, template. Andre, uh, can I highlight words in the question? No, never do anything um, just like putting the bullets, highlighting the words, making the title, um, underline it. Don't do these kind of things. Your written discourse will be 10 in that case. Please, please don't do this. 
even you are not supposed to write anything in um, quotes in inverted commas kindly don't write it only in summarized written text suppose one word was there in the text it, its first letter was capital do write its first word capital one remember one thing this is a software if uh, in summarized written text or an essay from your own side you think that uh, let's give the example based on one study if it is about some study say and at that time you are talking about say english language and you are talking about the importance of english language suddenly when you were writing uh, you got a uh, got one idea in your mind that uh, let's talk about these english language tests like ilts pte oet these are so when you are giving such kind of example definitely you have to write in capitals p t e i e l t s remember one thing these kind of words will not be captured by the software because in that dictionary of the software it is not having such words avoid writing capitals software doesn't understand what is p t e clear don't do these kind of mistakes written discourse writing module score will be less puneet is asking essays are repeated where can i get the list you can get 100 plus essays uh, in pt tutorials app plus they are there in uh, march prediction file get them you can join pt tutorials telegram group there you can ask your queries to PTE uh, tutors and you can get your answers of the queries people share material PT tutorials share material there is one website by PT tutorials the name of the website is uh, PTE tutorials dot com slash free materials PT tutorials dot com slash free materials take care bye bye i hope uh what if you want to get the link of telegram um just uh, open the website pttutorials.com on this side you will get the pop up of telegram 10000 plus people are there they ask their queries from uh, experts and they get their answers take care bye bye i hope you get some more information you will get march prediction file even in pt tutorials telegram group join the group and you will get lots of stuff there you can ask the queries even i am also present in the group take care bye bye thank you so much andre